Hey, 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 nothing ventured, nothing gained. Sharon Hornell from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. Supersizing your business and growing your business is what this little segment is about. And if you are in business already, you obviously understood the importance of this expression, the importance of taking action toward what you want. I love this expression, nothing ventured, nothing gained, because it reminds me personally to not procrastinate, to go for what I want, to take action and move toward what I want at least a little bit every single day. And you can apply this to growing and supersizing your business too. I learned from one of my coaching students the whole one thing philosophy that instead of having a to-do list of 20,000 things, I mean, my, I usually actually had a to-do list of 400 or more items that I was working on. Guess what? My brain isn't good enough to work on 400 items at the same time. Now, maybe my subconscious is, but my conscious brain, no way. I need a couple of things. So I adopted this philosophy of having one main thing every day that I focus on. And if I accomplish that, my day has been successful. But I need to pick that one thing and make sure that one thing is moving me toward what I want. So it's always one big thing. For example, today I'm starting a 90-day live video influencer challenge with an amazing woman named Heather Ann Havenwood, the sexy boss. And nothing ventured, nothing gained. I've done challenges before, but I have never done a challenge with another amazing woman before. And I'm doing a YouTube video challenge, which I don't know anything about YouTube, but I'm gonna learn really fast, right? And Heather's doing LinkedIn. And so she's gonna learn LinkedIn live very, very quickly as well. And so nothing ventured, nothing gained. We could both say, we're not gonna try this because we've never really done this before. Or we can say, hey, we've, we've never done this before, but I know darn well we're going to figure it out. And that's a philosophy we need to have with our businesses and growing them. We have to know that no matter what it is that we want to do in our business, chances are there's another human being on the planet or in the history of the planet that has actually done something, maybe not exactly like what we're doing, but very similar. Um, and so if they've done it, that means they figured out the solution to whatever hurdle or challenge we're trying to overcome. That means we can do it too. It means we're capable of we're capable of anything we put our minds to. We're capable of figuring it out. <clears throat> I want to tell a quick story about my sister. Well, I guess she's my ex sister in law, but she is just this amazing woman. And I I thought of her as I heard this expression today: nothing ventured, nothing gained, because she has this incredible ability to find amazing jobs and opportunities wherever they live. Her husband works for the airlines, so they love to travel. So she's always wanted to find jobs that would move her ahead, get them insurance for their family, and challenge her and help her to grow and develop. And so she's been open-minded and flexible. She's learned whatever she has to learn to get a certain job. She sets her mind on a job, and she figures out, what do I need to do to get this job? And she does those things incredibly well. So she's had jobs without a college degree. She actually trained as a beautician and a hairstylist, a hair cutter with, uh, I'm going to forget the name, doesn't matter, um, one of the most prestigious hair colleges in the, the country and probably the world. And she did that for several years and then she decided that she wanted more. She wanted something different. She went into corporate America and has had incredible jobs with uh, with different organizations that you would never imagine. She's had this amazing career because she knew that nothing ventured, nothing gained. She knew if she wanted to gain those experiences and have those jobs and to be able to do what she wanted, when she wanted with her family, she needed to venture something. She needed to invest in herself and her own personal development to achieve those goals and objectives. And we do this with every area of our life, especially with our businesses. We need to identify what it is we want and go for it, not with a vengeance, but go for it, knowing that whatever comes up, we're going to figure it out. So that's it. How can you apply nothing ventured, nothing gained to your business today? How can you apply it to your thinking? How can you apply it to and open up and free your, your people, those that are on your team, to use this philosophy and, and do this as well? Because it will add rocket fuel to the speed at which your business supersizes and grows. That's it. Go out and make an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Go for it.